Yes. Good afternoon, people of the world. I'm the director of the Dusty Village Farm operating in Ghana. My name is Koshita Koji. I am the number one organic farmer, I am sure, in the West Africa. But in Ghana, everybody knows that. The food I grow, we don't use fertilizers, we don't use pesticide, we don't use weedicide, and we don't use any other form of chemicals. Because food you eat, that's been bathed, drenched in toxic chemical. I don't call it food. To me, it is called poison food. So, poison food. So, I grow food that is not uh, cultivated with things like this. Now, that's Phil Village Farm produces organic fruit and vegetables, purple, pineapples, organically. We produce fruit and vegetables like uh, tomatoes, pepper, turia, marrow, uh, ginger, and the rest. We produce, uh, we process cassava products, gari, condo, tapioca, and uh, uh, starch. We also produce moringa powder, zalopia powder, we have shea butter, we also have um, coconut oil and palm oil. As a matter of fact, we are even planning to go into uh, fish cage farming in the Volta Lake from 2016. Now, Dasfield Village Farm is a registered farm. This is our registered document which gave us the permission and we also pay our taxes. And as a matter of fact, we've been exempted from paying taxes for 10 years. But however, the farm, as I've said, is to produce organic food for uh, average Ghanaians who are between the middle and the lower income bracket. This we are talking about nearly up to 20 million population in Ghana. And we want to produce food that will reach each and every one of them. Now, that's the village farm wants to produce food that is affordable, that is quality, that will be delivered on time in a good package material that will reach every home, every age, gender, it will cross all barrier. We are not limiting our produce to producing, I mean, uh, selling in Ghana, but also to produce and sell to the region and outside the continent. As a matter of fact, we are even applying for the export certificate, which will permit us to export our produce in either raw or processed form. That's the Gilles Farm has also go into some form of partnership with some ag growers in the rural community. We're giving them our own kind of training that we know, the technology we are using, we pass it on to them, we train them, we monitor how they do the, uh, uh, the technology. We, have, we are co-managing the project with them, so which means we do not allow them to just do it so that when we are not there, they can go in there and spray the chemical when some little infection comes. So we co-manage the farm with them and every week we are on the farm just to be sure that the farm is doing very well. That's the village farm has provided to these ag growers seeds, has also provided to these ag growers, has arranged funds from uh, microfinance or savings and loan banks, which we've given to them and they are also producing. Now what we do is that we are all producing because that's the village farm is on a 20 acre farmland and it's producing good food. And these farmers are also having their various land also producing their own thing. So at the, when it is matured, we now go in there and harvest. Bring it all to our, uh, what do you call it, our point. And then we sort, we grade, we select, we discard which those that need to be discarded so that only the good quality food reach the market. Our food is mainly to target especially those who have 
some form of diseases in their body and they have been restricted from taking things that are unnatural. Now, for instance, if you people now do not know why things like anemia, diabetes, hypertension have all increased in the system, cancer and co have all increased in the system. That's because we are all eating food drenched with agrochemicals, which is creating a lot of conditions in our system. But we are producing clean food, clean medicine, which are organically done. And is to target all these people to eat our food unrestricted. I mean, some who have been told not to eat meat can eat our mushroom. Those people who have problems with cholesterol level, with those watching out for their, uh, what do you call it, uh, those who have head conscious to themselves can eat our food. I mean, without fear or favor. There is no excess salt in it, no toxic chemical that is very dangerous to our beings in it. Everything is produced clean. Right now, I produce six tons of moringa powder a month. I produce six tons of moringa seeds a month. I produce um, cassava, 25 tons. Cassava, sorry, cassava product like garlic, 25 tons a month. Uh, starch, I produce 500 kilo a month. Tapioca, I produce 500 kilo a month. Cassava dough, I can produce even a thousand tons if you want a month. Uh, Popo, also I can give you 60 tons a month. Pineapple, I can give you 100 tons a month. Uh, uh, oil, I can give you 100 barrel. The barrel is uh, a 250 or the 200 bar, I can give you 50, 100 a month. You tell me what you need, I supply to you. I have the, the leaks, I have the farmers, and we are all producing. Come and eat clean food, and stop eating toxic, drenched with toxic chemical that is creating problems in our, in our, in our life. Now, from what I am looking at, I realize that Organic farm is not a common technology in practice. Everybody is either pressed, adopting the conventional farming system or the GMO, what you refer to as the genetically modified organism. Now, this kind of food, people have, been, I mean, there are a lot of research that has been published, which has made many of us so afraid to just eat anything anywhere. Somebody like me, my mother cannot eat anything because She's sick. And her sickness is that she's hypertensive and she's diabetic. But she eats from my farm. So you can see the beauty of eating organic food. And she never complains. So eat. We also have duck, pig, and other uh, animals like sheep and goat on the farm. And this is to serve especially the festive period. The salad, the Christmas in the Easter, those who like to eat meat and eat clean meat, or what we refer to as lean meat, not excess fat in your meat. You just want to eat proper meat, no fat in it, cholesterol reduced. We have grass cutters and rabbits. Why do you want to go and eat all those things produced by people that is killing you? From where I am sitting, the last time the, uh, uh, the financial controller gave me, uh, what do you call it, the financial plan of the project, I realized that the 20 acre project that the Das Village Farm is having, we are sitting on 22 million dollar CD project. So imagine if all this food that is being produced by the farm and my other farmers within the uh, other community and regions, you could see that we would have added more cash to what the state is also in terms of selling our produce to people to consume. That's where Village Farm is make, giving you a choice. And the choice is, we don't eat to be sick. We eat to live. Not we live to eat. We eat so that we can live. And if you really care about the kind of food you eat, then it is best we talk to people like us who have food that has been produced sustainably 
and there is no fear of any class, any age, any gender to eat what you produce. It is clean, healthy, healthy for all. I just want to say thank you for hearing us. God bless you all. Bye-bye.